Well, guys, they finally came. The three James Cameron 4Ks. These releases have been kind of a disaster. Basically, these releases went back up for pre-order. Went up for pre-order. I think in December, or January, either one. And we all knew that they were coming in March. It was, I think, it was announced late November. And yet, for some reason, this movie still sold out uh, to the point where they did not anticipate how little stock they would actually have comparison comparison to the man, which I cannot understand at all. First of all. If you don't know anything about uh, The Abyss and True Lies, Aliens is a little bit different story. We'll get into that one in a minute. But, like, Abyss and True Lies have been on our great movies that people have wanted to come to Blu-ray for a decade, um, if not more. Uh, James Cameron has talked about them coming to the format. It never happened. And then there were so many rumors, this release day and this release day of it coming to 4K and da 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 da, da Never happened. So when it came down to these releases finally being out, of course it was a big deal. I mean, The Abyss came out in theaters, did pretty well in a re-release. I didn't get a chance to catch that re-release. I wish I did, but just didn't, it just didn't happen that way. But these movies are big movies. And... And these aren't like little films, you know. This is what's so weird about the physical media thing is that there are so many movies that are iconic films that people saw in the theaters and made hundreds of millions of dollars. And yet they're just gone um, for a long time. And Aliens and True Lies, uh, well, not Aliens, True Lies and The Abyss were like that because, you know, of course, you know, they'd be referenced, but there's still no Blu-ray. There was streaming for a little bit but there wasn't you know that big release for these so now they're finally here i just don't understand the whole thing um luckily i got my disney movie club order than expected these actually shipped out later and usually when my pre-orders ship out late that means i don't get them early but this time they actually came early so i'm glad about that because i'm really excited to dive into these releases and talk about these uh let's start with aliens because i feel like this one's the least interesting because we've had this on blu-ray Right, we have the first Alien on 4K. It's no big, it's not as big of a release. Still, really awesome to have this because Aliens is a great movie. It, I, you know, some it's there's still a debate with people of which one's better, Aliens or Alien. I'm gonna go with the latter just because they're so uh, drastically d different movies, and I love both for very different reasons. So. Uh, yeah, but, ooh, I love, okay, I'm gonna, I just took out the digital code, but, uh, I love the slipcover, it looks gorgeous, got the back there, which it says right here, includes the 1968, sorry, 1986 theatrical version and 1997 special edition of the film with 17 minutes of additional footage, which is really cool, I don't know if that's ever been released before, but. It is on this. I'll have to check a Blu-ray edition to find that out. But um, get, I like the disc arc right here. You get the 4K disc with the face hugger, and then you get the Blu-ray disc with uh, two versions of the movie and bonus features. So both versions have that. Really cool to have on 4K. I I am going, and I'm glad I have this too because there's a new Aliens movie on the way. So I can actually watch this in preparation for that one coming out. And I do want to do an alien movie review series, and that'll be fun. Now let's talk with the one I'm really excited about. Don't get me wrong, I love True Lies, but this one's really cool. Just The Abyss is just such an awesome movie for me. I, I think this is probably my favorite James Cameron movie, other than, like, the the Avatar movies and the uh, and the uh, Titanic but it's hard to choose a favorite James Cameron movies so many good ones but this is a great one look at that slipcover gorgeous I love the back there it says includes the 1998 theatrical version and 1993 special edition which I had a DVD of this which had the extended cut I'm so that's basically what that is and I was worried that they may not include that on that release, but they did, which is great. I love the different disc art here. Really cool stuff. I'm not sure why the 4K disc has the least interesting art, but 
it is what it is. Like, I feel like, you know, both the Aliens one had cool, in interesting art on each disc, but that's still cool. Great release. Next one. This is a true lies, man. I love this movie. I, I did actually have the DVDs of these. I actually ordered them from eBay because they're out of print. And I was just begging for these to come to 4K and Blu-ray. But it, I never thought it would actually happen. Now it's actually happened, which is great. Cool art there. Again, not sure why there's no disc art here compared to this Blu-ray disc. Like, why put more effort into that? I don't know. But this is just great artwork. Probably the least interesting artwork, but yeah, still 100% great to have these releases. These releases, of course, are very big deals. If you love uh, just movies in general and you've never seen these movies, very iconic films for a reason. They're great movies, and they're just incredible to have, finally. So let me know your thoughts. Will you be picking these up? Which one's your favorite? Uh, looks great. All sitting on the side together. Of course... Only these ones on my shelf will be sitting together. This is going to go near my Alien movies. But uh, still, very cool stuff. Very excited about all that. Let me know your thoughts. Like, share, and subscribe.